Yeah. Okay, I, you uh, mentioned the Pinot de Ch de Ch Charente. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I sit with my pronunciation corrected. <clears throat> Let's see how this tastes. Now, so this is a different Pinot de Charente you've got there. Yes. And this is not. Oh, lovely. Blue. You have to wing it. Nice. <clears throat> okay. So this is Pinot de Charente Blanc. Oh, now, we're very one. excited about this one. Um, so I think out of the two versions of Pinot de Chiron, the Blanc and the, the Rouge, this one, the Blanc, is the winner. Um, so this one is about three and a half years in bourbon cask and then into Pinot de Chiron Blanc. Um, we, we did issue this one to the Premium Amblers Club, uh, maybe, I think it was maybe in the, in the January tasting, actually. Um, and it was by far the most popular. And we're so happy with it. We've actually, uh, we're going to release it soon. Ooh, I can give you a sneak view of the bottle. Oh, very so, nice. Black label. This is the Pinot, Pinot 350 because it was barrel number 350. Beautiful color. Oh, yeah. So the, um, I was saying before the Pinot, Pinot de Chiron Blanc, it's quite similar to a sherry cask style, and that's really what we were looking for in um, sourcing a European alternative to a Pera. Um, whereas the Pinot de Chiron Rouge is more like a port influence, mm -hmm. if I could compare them or give a comparison. So the flavours that I've described here, complex notes of French polish, cinnamon, lemon meringue, honey, vanilla milkshake, chocolate brownies, umami, red frogs, multi-grain bread, juicy fruit chewing gum, and cool mints, a long, rich, and pleasing finish. Now, those tasting notes are not just my tasting notes, but I also took notes of all the tasting notes from members of the Premium Amblers group, and I included some of their tasting notes on the label. So um, a lot of interesting things there. I'm having an um, Admiral Akbar mo moment. This is a trap because it doesn't taste like it's 54%. Mm. On the palate, um, I mean, I can save a whole lot of printing yeah. if you want. It's case of this is yeah. really drinkable. Yeah. It doesn't taste like it's um, nearly mm. it's 54%. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Yeah, that's 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 just that's very special, isn't it? Yeah, but it's also um, with a bottle of this. It's a case of what? Where, where did last night go? Because you'd start drinking this, and mm. I can see an awful lot of money being blown. Mm. It's um, that's what you call sessionable. Oh, okay, that's a big word. I generally don't. Yeah, sessionable. That it's something that uh, if you had a group of friends around, you could easily clear the whole bottle uh in a session it could be a bit dangerous but yeah look i think the next innovation when it comes to um spruce bottle is actually with baby bottles you know how you get the nipple fitted onto it a lot oh, yeah. of the screw tops and i think that we could actually just have a facility where we could fit the um the nipple it would be just so much easier it would clean up so much mess because some of the some of this stuff you just grab it and glug 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 <laughs> Yeah, it does. It does sound very Freudian, I have to say. Oh look, um, I don't like Freud mainly because I don't really like my cocaine. I see. Or my cigars. We need. We need to make sure this just, this doesn't. We want to need to make sure this doesn't uh, uh, end up some sort of uh, like a confessional or like a therapeutic session where one is disclosing. The matters on one's heart, but um, okay. I'm a conventional. So, so tell us about your so tell us about your mother and your inner id, Rod. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Something like that. I'd rather I'd rather talk about my super ego uh, or the self, as Jung would talk about with a capital S. But anyway, yeah, I've read a couple of yeah. books. Um, mind you, cocaine. So actually, no. Apparently, you were the um, snorting uh, marching powder capital of Australia, Melbourne. Right. I have no experience of that. I can't comment. I'm going to have to go in a, in a